How's it going, guys? I wanted to uh, talk about uh, UFC 259, um, the co-main event, Peter Jan versus Aljamain Sterling. I don't know if it was the co-main event. I think it was the the, the third fight before the, the last. I'm not sure. Something, you know. Um, man, what a fight. A lot of controversy around it, and I wanted to talk about it. Um, a lot of people... Um, um, are painting uh, Al Jermaine as the bad guy, as the guy had that melted and he was acting and and that you know um, why is he why did he get the belt and I've seen a lot of pundits right now heard him you know heard him uh, talking about it uh, Josh Thompson with a uh, McCarthy guy uh, Chill Sonnen. And they they made good points, but uh, I feel that you know they missed a lot of things too. At the same time, um, I think that uh, first off, I go against the thought that it was a foregone conclusion that Peter Jan was going to to win that fight. I think that uh, up to that point, before that illegal blow, that fight was still competitive. Um, there's a lot of moving parts in what happened. And uh, we get, as we as viewers, we get influenced by the things that commentators say. Joe Rogan and DC, they're color commentators, but they tend to go very biased at times. And if you see this fight without the commentating, I think it'll be better. You will make up your mind better as to who was doing what well or not. Um... I feel that uh, Al Jermaine was landing a lot of significant body shots. Um, he was going, you know, to the waist a lot. And he was landing, man. There were clean shots. He was landing on Peter Jan. He had Peter Jan on the defense throughout the whole rounds. He was pushing a mad pace that was giving uh, Peter Jan uh, fits, man. It just so happens that Peter Jan is a nice man. He has that that you know uh one one face expression that you can't tell when he's hurt but the guy was frustrated and that illegal knee shows you that the guy was frustrated um he shots peter jan's uh strikes were a little bit cleaner he had some nice trips going for him he was doing well he was defending and his takedown defense was on point man because aljamain was in shape he was pushing a pace and he was, def uh, um, Peter Jan was defending those takedowns very well. Um, Al Jermaine was getting knocked down a couple of times, but he got right up. So wh what am I saying? Well, I'm saying that the fight was very, very competitive up to that point. So here's what happens. What happens essentially is that Peter Jan broke a rule. He need in the face Al Jermaine, who was down at the time, and that's illegal in MMA, in, you know, in the octagon. In UFC, one of the main rules, we've seen it happen before. Fights have been stopped. They've been, you know, um, they've been stopped uh, because of illegal knees like those. It just so happens this time, the consequences were a little bit more dire. Uh, it was a title fight, so Peter Jan lost his title, and the title went to Al Jermaine. Al Jermaine now is getting a lot of hate online because he, he got that belt. But it's not his fault that Peter Jan fucked up. If you want to blame somebody, you got to blame, blame uh, Peter Jan for breaking the rule. And I think, in my view, my personal view, that Peter Jan was feeling that pressure, man. And that it shows that, you know, he, he, you know, he had a, you know, a, a brain fart there for a moment. And he, he threw that knee and that cost him and the, and the fight was stopped. And you saw, you all saw what happened. Um, first off, I think the referee kind of fucked up because when your fighter uh, is there and he got hit with an illegal uh, strike and he went down, you got to stop the fight. You know, at that point, that fighter doesn't have the right mindset to decide if he can go on or not. He could say, yes, I can go on. Uh, he gets up, you say, okay, go. 
And then, boom, he gets knocked out. He goes out immediately after he told you that he could go on. Or he could, you know, he could really go on. You can't, but you, those are decisions that it's just, I, I'm just saying that fighter, Al Jermaine, was not in the right mind at that point to say whether he could go on or not. Why ask him? Is what I'm saying. Why ask him? You got to stop the fight because he's down because of an illegal strike. That's that's my main point. He's down because of, of an illegal strike. The rules say you, you got to stop it because Jan broke, broke uh, Peter Jan broke a rule and landed a strike that just sh he shouldn't have thrown. And that's not on Al Jermaine. Um, you know, so he got the title and uh, he's getting a lot of hate. He's being viewed as the as the bad guy. And I don't think that's a fair thing, man. I don't think he should be viewed as the bad guy. Um, it's a contest. The contest was for that belt. Uh, the champion broke the rule. As a consequence, he lost that belt. They're going to run it back. And according to Dana White, it's going to be an immediate uh, rematch. So so be it. I'm not surprised about that, you know. Um so a lot of a lot of other fighters, a lot of pundits, is going on about it, and whether he was acting, he was milking, the you know giving the Oscar, the whole performance thing, man, it, it, it's cynical, cause you know there's a lot of things going on. I you know, we're we're viewers, we can't tell what's going on, and what that fighter is really feeling. Was he faking it? Was he acting? I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe you've seen fighters uh, play possum before. Was this a case of, of him playing possum? Let's say he, he, he was faking it. Let's say he milked it. Let's say he acted. Uh, can you blame him? He, he didn't plan for, for Peter Jan to throw that illegal, illegal knee. And why did Peter Jan throw that illegal knee? Uh, those are questions you got to answer. Because his corner told him to. Come on, isn't Peter Jan... Uh, smart enough to to know that you don't do that. That's an illegal uh, strike. Um, the rules are explained to every fighter. So every fighter knows what's going on. I think that fight was, uh, you know, if you don't go by what Rogan and DC were saying, because their commentary was atrocious uh, on that night, I think. Uh, they were being very biased on several fights. And uh, if you listen to them, uh, Al Jermaine was gassed. Uh, Al Jermaine was losing. Um, to them, it was a foregone conclusion that he was going to lose. Uh, when Jan landed, I mean, when Al Jermaine landed, they didn't, uh, they didn't, oh, they didn't make that much noise. Uh, when Peter Jan uh, tripped and punched, they were, whoa, you know, so it's, it's, there's a lot of moving parts, man. Uh, those commentators, they're, they're influencing your views, too. If you're not smart enough and you don't use your own criteria as a viewer or what's going on. So sometimes it's good to watch these fights or rewatch them without the commentary to make up your mind. Um, those are my, uh, my two cents on this fight. It was an awesome fight and uh, I'm looking forward to the rematch. I don't think that uh, I think that both fighters are in their prime, young, hungry, and uh, it's gonna be a great rematch. Thanks for listening to me, guys. Peace. Uh, give me some likes, dislikes, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.